this little orchid is way overdue her own video. Oh, you wouldn't think so by just looking at my little Guaraciclia Kyoguchi happy field. Her blooming is not exactly textbook to make someone go, yes, floriferous, must have. I'm going to ask you to look past that because I've had a better bloom count from her in the past and that happened when she had not just been repotted in the previous year and had nicer winters to contend with. But this video's homage to this orchid is a double whammy. It is mainly an homage to the fragrance this orchid has that matches another fragrance to a tea. That is why I would love to not call her Kyoguchi Happy Field. Instead, she is the Issei Miyaki Orchid as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope that it will inspire you to look into this beautiful small hybrid because I have to admit that I am indulging in this video mainly to gush about the fragrance of the orchid. I will link the Care Collab video on her in the description because while scratch and sniff is not available in our technology, descriptions are, and I have gone to Issey Miyake's webpage to read you the fragrance profile of the perfume of this orchid. I have described the perfume in the past as light and fresh for the warmer months of the year, perfect for spring and summer, but the essence of a great perfume is that it can hold its own no matter the season you find yourself in. Sometimes perfumes are beautifully designed to serve their purpose for spring and summer. They would, however, not hold up to the fall and winter months. But the fragrance I am talking about here does both. It is light and gorgeous and fresh during spring and summer and still has an amazing depth, a woody note that holds up beautifully during the fall and winter. But let me go to the webpage and give you everything the fragrance of this orchid throws at you. Trust me, it's one heck of a ride. I am interchanging the reference to Isimiyaki perfume with Happy Field just so that we stay on track with what we are doing here. <laughs> and no, I am not in any way affiliated with the perfume. This is not a promotional video. Even though I do have it, I do wear it. But still, when we speak of fragrances of orchids, when we try to tap into our mind what we are experiencing and then try to relay it in our videos, this video is long, long overdue. So let's go. Happy Field is a floral aquatic fragrance that will delight every orchid grower. In the top notes floats a floral duo made of lotus accord and rose. The heart notes convey a light sensuality combining a lily accord and a fresh floral bouquet. The precious woody bass notes complete the olfactory trail brilliantly. <laughs> Something for the senses. Let's talk about the lotus accord. A delicate and powdery lotus rose accord enhances the fresh and aquatic facet of the fragrance. At the heart of the fragrance lies a floral bouquet full of softness with peonies and white lilies. Exotic wood, amber, sandalwood, musk and cedar wood provide the fragrance with a long lasting trail. And there you have it. I have never gone to Issei Miyake's webpage before, but when I read the precious woods section, I understood why his perfume holds up during the cooler months of the year, as well as why it is so gorgeous and light in the spring. I could discern the lily notes, but I would have gone more specific because I think that there are lily of the valley in this perfume, which I just adore as well. But the webpage refers to white lilies only, which in their own right are super intensely fragrant as well. Those oils, together with the rose and lotus accord, that is your spring in a bottle right there. Amazing, it is just insane, essential, and timeless. And this orchid gives you all that, even if the bloom show isn't as spectacular as you are accustomed to. Right from jump, if you were to have this orchid, if this were your first blooming, which it could be considering it was just repotted last year, it has to recover. You still get all of that with these tiny, tiny blooms. This orchid packs a punch, even with my not so good bloom count this year. And they say dynamite comes in small packages and Kiyoguchi Happy Field absolutely proves that to be true. I have always wondered who came first, the creation of the perfume and the orchid just so happened to match it, or did Issei Miyake smell the orchid and then create the perfume? Not that it matters, but it is uncanny that an orchid matches a fragrance so exactly. 
I am so glad to have this one in my collection, have it bloom year after year, but now I'm hoping to grow my orchid back to strength so that next year we have more blooms in order to enjoy the fragrance even more. Small little video for a small little orchid. Thank you for watching and allowing me to indulge in this reverie of fragrance layers. What could I say? You are too kind. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this little video, even if it is a little left field <laughs> for a little orchid with a big fragrance. Anyway, have yourself a fabulous day. On that one condition though, that you stay safe, please. Take care, bye.